A DC clamp meter is one of the most useful tools a DIY solar power enthusiast could own. Here I will demonstrate how to use this meter to quickly test solar power systems, easily answering a variety of questions and solving common problems. This is the Aneng PN200 Smart DC AC clamp meter. Please note, I don't get commissions for sales and this meter is a sample unit provided for evaluation. Often meters like this don't provide quality probes, but the PN200 does include two complete sets of probes, plus a whole bunch of really innovative threaded fittings. I have never seen a meter like this with such a complete probe set, so that gets a thumbs up from me. Also included are an instruction manual, batteries, and a zippered carrying case. A meter like this is really very simple to use. I rely on it constantly while setting up battery banks, solar panels, inverters, and charge controllers, and troubleshooting common problems. Now I will demonstrate the basic use of a clamp meter. Non-contact voltage, or NCV. Turning it into NCV mode, we can quickly check wires to see if there's an AC current flowing. For example, this inverter is powered on, and it's easy to see if a particular line is electrified or not. Note, the lack of beeping does not mean it's safe to touch conductors or wires. Always observe normal safety procedures for potentially live circuits. Amperage measurement. This is the mode I use most often. Both AC and DC current can be measured in any single wire. Here I use the clamp meter in DC mode to see how much current is flowing into the inverter. Just turn it on and clamp the wire. Using the rel or zero function zeroes out the meter before taking a reading. Be sure to select AC or DC mode depending on which type of current is being measured. You cannot tell by looking at a string of solar panels how much current each panel is producing, but the knowledge is quickly gained by simply clamping each wire from each solar panel individually and notating how much current is flowing through. If one of these solar panels has an abnormally low current reading, then you know you need to take a look at that specific panel to see what's wrong with it. Even in a larger solar array, this is a quick and easy way to check individual panels to see how they are performing. You don't have to unplug them or make any electrical connections whatsoever. Here I'm comparing the meter with two other amp meters, including a clamp-on meter as well as a coulomb counting amp meter with a shunt. As you can see, the readings are really quite close. A clamp-on or inductive amp meter is never going to be as accurate as a shunt-based meter, but it's very, very close, and so that makes it useful for all kinds of work. Voltage measurement. To measure voltage, simply plug the probes into the positive and negative sockets, then turn the dial to the correct range. You can easily measure low DC voltage such as 5 or 12 volts, or even the output of a solar panel, by simply touching the probes to the positive and negative terminals of the output. Here I use my benchtop power supply to check the accuracy of the voltage measurement. My power supply is already known to be quite accurate. The voltage readings on the Anang meter were within 0.01 volts or less of my benchtop supply, so it passes the test. It is very well calibrated. You can also measure AC voltage by putting the meter into AC mode and putting the probes in the AC outlet. Use care and caution while doing this. Diode check. This mode can be used to see if a diode has shorted out or what the voltage drop is. A Schottky diode drops around 0.2 volts and a silicon rectifier diode drops about 0.5 volts. It should read open circuit when the positive probe is touching the terminal that the arrow symbol points towards. You can use diode check mode to check the bypass diodes that are located inside larger solar panels. Look closely at the orientation of the red probe and you will see that this Schottky diode is testing good. Continuity mode. This mode allows you to see if a circuit is conductive or not. For example, you can check plugs and wires to see if they are actually connected. If there is a low resistance conductive path, for example, as would be expected on a power cable that is in good condition, the meter will beep. For over 10 years, I have used digital multimeters and other meters constantly while working with solar power. Based on my past experience with other meters, the Aneng PN200 is actually a pretty good value considering its price. It has a very nice set of probes and accessories, and it does exactly what I expected it to do. 
the accuracy is good, and it has quite a few useful features built in for the price. If you'd like to purchase this meter, a link is in the description. I don't get any commissions for sales. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video helps you get started learning about clamp meters.